Hello and welcome to this Microsoft Excel and MySQL video tutorial. In this amazing video, I'm going to show you how to connect and export the data in the employee table of the HR schema to Microsoft Excel using Power Query, which is known also as Get and Transform. Thereafter, we're going to come out to the MySQL workbench and insert a single row of records into the employees table. And then we go back to Microsoft Excel and refresh the Power Queries query. And then we believe the newly inserted data should be reflective in the result in Excel. So without wasting our time, let's get started. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to see all the records in this employee table. So to do that, I'm going to write a simple select all statement. So let's do that. Select all from hr.employees table. Double click on that, semicolon, control enter. And of course, these are the records in the MySQL. So let's go over to Excel and see how we can connect. Now in Excel, we have what's called get and transform or popularly known as Power Query. Now, it is located under the Data tab, and we have the button to the left here, Get and Transform Data. Now, when you just Get Data drop down, we have all these options. Click on From Database. Now, if you choose from my SQL database, you know, face this issue. This connector requires one or more additional component to be installed before it can be used. Now, this is not what we're going to use. We're going to use what is called the ODBC, that is the Open Database Connectivity. Now, when I click on the Get Data drop down and choose from other sources, we have the From ODBC here. And click on that. Now we see the data source name, DSN. We do not have anything like my, MySQL, okay? So what we're going to do is to just close this and install the necessary ODBC based on our local machine so i'm going to head over to my browser and just type in download my sql odbc connector and just click on this result it's going to open this page and we can see under the general availability releases choose the appropriate installer for your machine now for me i'm using 64-bit windows so just click on download it's just 10.9 megabytes and the version is 8.9 0.31 now it's already downloaded on my machine just click, go to my download now in the download section just double click on the installer and then choose next and then choose i accept the terms in the license agreement choose next and i want to install a custom click on next and then we are fine with this click on next and click on next install and click on yes now in few seconds it is fully installed you can see wizard completed just click on finish i'm going to close this download now i'm going to type in in the windows just type in odbc now we have the 32 bit and the 64 bit data sources so i'm going to choose the 64 bit now it's very important for me to specify or to add the newly installed odbc so just click on add and then we can see my sql odbc 8.0 unicode driver and we have the ANSI driver so i'm going to choose the unicode driver and just double click on it and then we need to specify the data source name you can call it whatever you want i'm going to call it my own my sql now for the description you can give it if you would like now the very important thing to do here is to specify the correct tcp forward slash ip server now this is going to be local host okay local host and the port remains 3306 now you need to provide a name for your user now my user is root and i'm going to point my password and then i can click on test you can see connection successful amazing click ok and click ok and then you can see that it is now added to the data sources okay and then finally click okay now we'll go back to excel and we can click on get data drop down and choose from other sources and choose from odbc again and then we should see the my sql here that's amazing so choose this and then you click okay and then in the next window which is the navigator for the power query we can see that we've been able to successfully connect to the my sql 
and that is superb so just expand this and we have the employees table so just click on it and we can see the preview that's amazing so click on transform data and that's going to open the power query that is embedded in microsoft excel and that is superb now let's check the results is it the same thing yeah that's amazing the last employee is your adenoga in excel we have the same thing i adenoga everything is absolutely amazing now you can check the data type now this is whole number data type text 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 and we have this is decimal but i prefer to choose currency data type okay that's amazing and then let's close and load to our excel worksheet now in the import data here I can actually dump it in a table, pivot table report, pivot chart, or only create connection. But we are fine with this table. So I want to choose the location. So I want to put it in the existing worksheet and cell A1 is fine. Click OK. And that is absolutely awesome. We've been able to connect and import the data into Microsoft Excel. That is beautiful. Now let's head over, as I said, to the my SQL workbench and let's just insert this control enter and let's see the table again oh that's amazing can you see we have a newly inserted record the name of the employee is Jeremy Hunt is in the sales department and the salary is seven thousand okay now let's go back to Excel and then we can right click anywhere in the query and then we can just refresh now when I choose refresh, can you see we have Jeremy owns sales department 7000 and the employee's ID is triple one and that is amazing. So this is basically how we can connect and export data from a particular table in the micro my SQL to Microsoft Excel using the amazing power query. So if you enjoyed this video, Please like it, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel because there is a lot to come. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.